Hi there, welcome to your bone and joint channel. This is Dr. Shaiste, your orthopedic surgeon. Today we are discussing the knee pain. Knee pain is due to um, soft tissues or the bony element around the knee. Your knee is a combination of the bony elements and soft tissues. There is three bone in the knee, femoral bone, tibial bone, and patella thigh bone, shin bone, and kneecap. And there are some soft tissues, anterior cruciate ligament, posterior cruciate ligament, lateral collateral, medial collateral. And there are tendons over the knee. We have some bursas also around the knee, which they, they are in outside, outside of the knee joint. They are basically uh, outside of the joint. Any of these elements can be the reason for the pain. Pain is usually it's not just the single symptoms. Sometimes, or most of the time, we have swelling with the stiffness, or, or with the stiffness. So basically, patient is not able to fully flex or fully extend the knee. Sometimes, we have some lightness, or even warmth in touch. If we touch the, the, the knee, we feel that it's, it's hard, or your doctor is going to examine and it's going to tell you that there is some warmth as well around the knee. So the pain, swelling, stiffness, and sometimes um, instability. The main complaint of the patient is the knee is not holding, the helping the patient, and the patient is weak. There is some sort of fear while walking, running, or jogging. That called giving way. And even sometimes there is a popping or crunching sign, um, the strange noises the patient is going to come. As we say, knee joint is a combination of the bony element and the soft tissues, and any of these elements can be the source of the injury. One of the common injuries is ACL injury, the, or ACL tear. ACL is the anterior cruciate ligament that's inside the knee joint, the, the ligament anterior, anterior part or front, in front of the knee joint, but it's, it's still it's inside the knee joint. It's a very common injury for basketball player or soccer player. Any sport activities which involves or requires sudden change in the direction while they are running, it can be the reason for that. That's why it's very common in basketball injuries. And that in basketball, one of the common injuries during the basketball or soccer, soccer games. The second um, common injuries are the fractures. As we say, fractures can happen uh, in the uh, femoral bone, tibial bone, and uh, patellar bone, thigh bone, shin bone, and kneecap. The reason for the fracture is usually a high uh, velocity injury or uh, car accident any other traumas, direct traumas, fall, uh, falling from the height, or direct injuries. Or, uh, sometimes the fracture happens due to osteoporosis. Osteoporosis is a weak bone, which, which bone doesn't have that strength, so it breaks very easily. It happens usually during the, 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 uh, by the aging, so older people, they might come with a fracture, which is just due to the osteoporosis. These osteo uh, fractures due to osteoporosis even sometimes can happen just by uh, stepping in the wrong way. So it doesn't, because the bone, bone is so weak, it doesn't need a very uh, severe uh, trauma to uh, create the pain. Um, one more uh, injury is a meniscus injury. The meniscus is a tough, rubbery uh, cartilage which acts as a shock absorber inside the knee joint. As I explained, there are uh, soft tissue elements inside the knee joint, but this, this part is a, which is a meniscus, that's uh, tough, rubbery cartilage which works as a shock, as a shock absorber 
between the shin bone and thigh bone. It can be torn uh, uh, during the different sport, act sport activities. Uh, and if uh, the athlete suddenly twists his uh, or her knee while bearing weight, it can happen. So you might uh, injure your meniscus while you are uh, suddenly twisting your knee while you're walking or bearing, weight bearing basically. There are some other elements around the knee joint. We call there are some tendons um, and the ligaments. Inflammation or uh, tendinitis can be the reason for the pain. So any inflammation in the soft tissues, in the ligaments, can be uh, sick, other source of pain for the in the knee. There are some other mechanical problems also that can be the uh, source of the pain. Sometimes loose body in the joint. It can be out of the fracture or even the osteoarthritis. Then um, even some um, pain in other joint. Sometimes patient has a hip pain or pain in the foot. But because of the uh, pain in other joint, uh, usually body's reaction is to defer the pain from the, that joint and um, that, that creates uh, different pressure on the uh, knee joint and that would be the source of the pain. So basically the altered gait can place more stress on your knee, uh, knee joint and cause pain. Sometimes even the uh, knee joint um, can be painful because of the dislocated kneecap. It can happen uh, in different sport. And people, sometimes people, they have ligament laxity and it can be the source of the pain uh, for the patient due to that ligament laxity. There will be dislocated kneecap and that will be the reason for the pain. And of course, um, one of the main reasons for the knee pain is arthritis. Arthritis, the, 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 the common arthritis, osteoarthritis. Osteoarthritis uh, is because of the uh, wear and tear that can happen in the knee. Uh, I'm going to try to show you some of these knees that I have here. If by the aging there is a wear and tear in the uh, cartilage, then the knee will be painful. And uh, usually, it's, of course, that's an aging process, but sometimes it can happen earlier due to uh, fracture or any other injuries inside the knee joint. It can happen early. Um, and it is, it's not just work, um, aging related injuries. Some other arthritis, inflammatory diseases like rheumatoid arthritis, which most um, basically the debilitating form of the arthritis is rheumatoid arthritis. Um, there is another arthritis we call the GOT, or that's, that's because of the uric acid crystals, which they build up inside the knee joint, and they, they are the reason for the pain. Pseudogot has it, that's a cal uh, calcium containing crystals inside the knee joint. And finally, the septic arthritis is the reason um, for the infectious uh, arthritis for the pain. That's, that's a septic arthritis. So the patient comes with a fever, and we need to um, look for the, uh, any uh, microbial uh, reason for the pain. There are some other um, sources for the pain also. As we say, there is some tendons around the knee, and even some bursitis, infection in the bursas also can be the reason for the pain. And um, your doctor definitely uh, keeps all these things while he or she is examining you. He 
he's going to keep all these things in his mind to, to look for them. What are the risk factors? Um, risk factor for the uh, knee pain. First of all, excess weight. Being overweight, excess weight, being overweight and obese increases stress, increases stress on your knee, on your knee joint. Even during ordinary activities, when you are overweight, you are putting extra, you are putting extra weight on your knee. Even just doing the normal activities, going upstairs, downstairs, walking, all of these things. If you are overweight, you are putting extra weight on your knee. It puts um, you at increased risk of osteoarthritis by accelerating the breakdown of your joint cartilage. If you don't have strong muscle around your knee, that could be another reason to increase your risk of knee pain and osteoarthritis because you need to have um, strong muscles around your knee, specifically um, quadriceps tendon and hamstring tendon, uh, in order to help your knee uh, to uh, hold on your weight and uh, function properly. Certain sports and occupations. Some of the sports and occupations specifically put pressure on the knee. Basketball players, runners, joggers, cycling, all these exercises, they have a specific um, pressure on the knee. And all of these athletes, they need to really, before starting any sport activity, they need to really build up their knee muscle um, in order to have a strong muscle to support them. So you might ask how we can prevent. Before going to the treatment subject, I'm going to talk about the prevention. Keep extra pounds off. Really, you need to keep your extra pounds off. Maintain a healthy weight. It's one of the best things you can do for your knee. Every extra pounds puts additional strain on your knee joint. It's increasing the risk of injuries and osteoarthritis. Before starting any activity, practice perfectly. Be sure all your techniques, and whatever you are doing, they are the, you know, the right one for your specific uh, sport activity. That's why they say lesson from a professional can be very helpful. Get strong, stay flexible. Your muscle has to be flexible, strong, and healthy. You need to build up quadriceps and hamstring muscle. Quadriceps is the, the strong muscle in front of your knee, which it comes, starts from your hip and attaches to the patella bone. They are the strong muscle in front of your knee. There, there's a four strong muscle there, we call them quadriceps. That's why, that's why we call them quadri, quadriceps. There's a four strong muscle. And there is strong muscle in behind you, behind, behind your thigh, which is attached behind your knee and your hamstrings. So you need to really build up all these muscles around your knee and even the muscles in your um, uh, leg area, in your shin area. So uh, there are some muscles, we call them gastric muscles. They are behind your leg. You need to build up all these muscles in order to have flexible, strong muscle to support you while you are doing your knee sport. That's why all this Athletes, though in any athlete, basically, it doesn't matter what type of exercise they are doing, before everything, they need to really build up their muscle. And basically, if you are doing this sport as a pleasure and you are doing those things just for yourself, you need to be smart in choosing your exercise. If you have also arthritis or chronic knee pain, or recurring injuries is happening to you, you need to really change the way that you are exercising. You might need to just switch, consider switching to the swimming or doing water aerobic or any uh, low impact activities which can save your knee. For the diagnosis, 
diagnosis. Okay, first of all, we need to have a proper history of the patient. The doctor needs to have a proper history. And then um, symptoms, the doctor is going to ask you about your symptoms, the history of your symptoms, how often it happened, when was the first time it happened, if you had any history of any other injuries, or if you had any history of pain in other joints. Any, any of these things can, has to be clear, and the doctor has to go to uh, go to all uh, this history and find out if there's any anything that you need to tell to your doctor. And the second thing is, of course, the examination. Apart from the pain, um, the source of the pain, the location of the uh, pain, um, the doctor needs to find out where is the exact location of your pain, and if there is any swelling, any um, any hotness around your knee joint, if you have any fever, uh, or if there is any restriction, how far you can walk with your knee, um, what is the restriction of uh, flexion or extension, um, any of these things um, has to be uh, sought out and the doctor uh, is going to apply a specific examination for your knee to find out if there is any restriction in the walking, in your flexion or extension, or uh, if there is any swelling, uh, any hotness, any contenders in the medial side of your knee, lateral side of the knee, or in front of the knee or back of the knee, the doctor needs to find out all of them. And any of these points of the pain can lead the doctor to uh, some different diagnosis. First of all, after the examination, the doctor is going to send you for an x-ray. X-ray can um, differentiate the, the source of the pain, if there is a bony element, if there is any fractures, any loose body inside the joint, any osteoarthritis or change in the bony element, the doctor is going to find out with the x-ray. After the x-ray, if there is, there is or there is nothing in the bone, then um, one of the best things uh, to find out um, the problems inside the problem inside the knee joint, specifically the soft tissue related injuries, are the MRI. Um, definitely, it's going to make a clear uh, diagnosis of the ligamentous injury if there is a cruciate ligament injury or tear or meniscus injuries or any other. Uh, soft tissue injuries around the knee uh, joint. Um, if there is any fracture, the CT scan, apart from the MRI, CT scan is the, the best uh, diagnostic tool to find out um, details of the fracture. And if we are, if specifically, if we, are, we need to go and fix it for you, you need to have a proper view of the knee joint by using. CT scan, which is a computerized, uh, computerized X-ray, computerized uh, X-ray, um, computerized tomography scan. And sometimes your doctor might need to use ultrasound um, for some of the specific uh, diagnosis or some of the specific uh, issues inside the knee, but it's not a very common uh, tool for the diagnosis. So the main thing is, first of all, we need to do x-ray. After that, we need to go for the MRI. If there is a fracture, and we need to go for the surgery. We need to go for the CT scan, computerized tomography, which it gives us a 3D view of the knee joint, the, the bony element, and we can decide what sort of the instrument we have to use to fix the knee joint and how we have to approach the fracture. Finally, the um, doctor might need to go for some lab tests. The blood tests are uh, very good to, to find out if there is an infection uh, or uh, any um, other inflammatory diseases, like rheumatoid arthritis, gold, or any other things that we need to basically uh, diagnose them as we uh, and use as a uh, tool for the uh, long term diagnosis and the treatment of the patient. So apart from the x-rays, MRI, we need to work on the blood test as well.
What are the treatments? First of all, if you suffer from the knee uh, pain and that's an acute injury, the first first things is for you uh, uh, as a patient at home. There are some specific treatment you have to do. Rest. We call it rise. Rest, ice, compression, elevation. These are the first. If you are in a sport field and you've got an injury, first you have to consider all these things. Um, stop uh, any, any sport activity. If you are in, in the middle of a football activity, something happened to your knee, you felt it's painful. If it is a sudden sharp pain, if you felt pop or these kind of things, you need to stop the, your activity. You shouldn't continue in your sport. Stop the activity. Try to have rest. Apply some ice on it compression and uh, elevation. Then, of course, you need to consult your doctor. The treatments, based on the diagnosis and the, uh, the, the different kind of a, uh, evaluation which we are doing for you, first we will start with the medication. Of course, there are anti anti-inflammatory uh, NSAIDs, uh, prescription drugs, for prescription medications, anti-inflammatory medications, or physiotherapy based on your diagnosis. If there's no reason for go, go for any surgeries or any other things, so we will continue the medication with some rest and following some physiotherapy sessions, which can help you to uh, reduce inflammation, uh, strengthen the muscles around the knee, and help you to go back to your normal activity and strengthen your muscle, of course. Um, based on the source of the pain and the reason for the pain, of course, all these treatments and the timing can be completely different. If there is any fracture, sure, your doctor is going to decide for the surgery. If there is any ligamentous injury or a meniscal injury, based on the ligament, ligaments which involve, if it is ACL um, tear, we have to go for ACL reconstruction. If there's any fracture, open um, surgery needed. If that's an ACL ligament injury or meniscal injury, usually we do the arthroscopic surgery, which is not an open surgery. That's to uh, the scope the, um, surgery. Arthritis or um, any degenerative joint disease, of course, the treatment also will be different. First, we start with the medication, physiotherapy. If that type of the treatment doesn't work, the uh, intraarticular injection we might use. It can be cortisone injection, it can be hyaluronic injection inside the knee joint, or sometimes PRP. Um, these are the, the treatment options. None of these things doesn't work. Of course, we consider the surgeries. If it's just in one, into one compartment, maybe just partial um, knee replacement or total knee replacement, we will consider for you. Um, I think I'm going to stop right now here. That's all for now today. We discuss about the knee, knee pain, but we will continue in the next video. We can go for more details. Please um, be sure to subscribe channel and please be sure that you are going to join us again in the next video. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.